Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number seven from the um, Mechanics M1 January 2023 International A Level at Excel exam. This question here is about this lift, um, which operates by means of a vertical cable, which is attached to the top of the lift. The lift has an M, a mass M. Okay, so the, the mass of the lift is M. A box Q is placed on the floor of the lift. A box P is placed directly above Q, on top of Q, as shown in figure four. Um, the cable is modeled as being a, a light and inextensible. Okay, and the air resistance is modeled as being negligible. The tension in the cable is 42 mg over five. The lift and its contents move vertically upwards with the acceleration 2g over five. Using the model, find in terms of M, the combined masses or the combined mass of boxes P and Q. All right, so first of all, in this type of problem here, you can consider different things. So you can consider the forces acting in the system as a whole, as it's just one big object moving, okay? And we just look at the forces acting as a whole on the whole system. That's one, one um, option. We can consider the forces acting on the lift itself only. We can also consider the forces acting on each box separately. So there's lots of different options here for us. Now, what would be the best option in this particular case? Well, we know the acceleration is upwards and we're told that it's 2g over 5. So we know the, we know the, the acceleration of the whole system. Um, we know the tension in the cable. Okay, so the tension in the cable is 42 over 5 mg, 42 mg over 5. And what we need to find is the weight of these two objects, but we have already, um, or the mass of these two objects, we already have the mass of the lift. Now we know the mass of the lift is m. Okay, so the mass of the lift is m. So we know m is the mass of the lift, as they told us. Okay, so we can say, say let, say x be the mass of p plus q, both of them added together. So x is a combined mass of p and q. I've got to call that x. So that means the weight of the whole system the weight of the lift and its contents, so we're taking the forces, I'll take it as one big object, is going to be um, m plus x, that's the mass of both of them, times g. That would be the, the weight, the force acting downwards. So now, if I, if so, I'm looking at the system as a whole. So I'm taking the system as one whole system, as one object. That's what I'm looking at, as one object. Okay, so in that case, I have. The upward forces acting is a tension, 42 mg over 5. Downward forces are the, it's the weight, m plus x times g, and that's equal to the resultant force mass, that is the resultant force, and that's equal to the mass of the object times its acceleration, so it's m plus, m plus x, m plus x, times the acceleration of the system, which is 2g over 5. So we're used here, we've used F equals ma. The resultant force is mass times acceleration. This is the resultant force, this is the mass of the whole system, and this is the acceleration of the whole system. Okay, so we need to find what x is. The first thing we can do, we see that g is a common factor of every single term. I can cancel, cancel that out. Um, next thing I can do is I can multiply both sides by 5 to get rid of the fraction, so this would be 42 over 5 times 5, which is 42m, it's 42m, minus, and you're going to have 5 times m plus x equals, and when you multiply that by 5, you end up with 2 times m plus x, the 5 cancels out. So now, um, I think a nice easy way to do this would be actually to leave the 42m on this side and add 5m plus x to both sides. No need to expand the bracket then, it'll make it easy, I think. 5 times m plus x. These are like terms. You can see there's 2 plus 5 of the same term. That gives you 7. So we have 42m equals 7 times m plus x. So we can divide both sides by 7. That gives us 6m equals m plus x. So therefore we can say x is equal to 6m minus m, which is 5m. Okay, so that is, um, should be a capital X. Start off as a capital X. That's how it should have stayed. 
Okay, so that's capital X is equal to 5M. That is the combined mass of the two objects P and Q. X equals 5M, right? So that is the answer to question A. All right, now we've got to find or we'll answer question two. It says, during the motion of the lift, the force, is exert, the force exerted on box P by box Q is 14 mg over 5. Um, use them using the model find in terms of m the mass of box p all right so we know the acceleration is upwards and that's 2g over 5. now what we're going to do is we're going to consider the forces acting on box p alone so consider the forces acting only on box p consider the forces on p alone right so if you think about the forces acting on box uh, P, you have its weight, okay, which I'm going to put call I'm going to call it MP, the mass of P, so MP times G, and you have the reaction force acting on P, which is exerted on it on it from Q, and that's 14 mg over five. We don't need to consider the reaction force of the, the floor of the lift on Q or Q on the floor of the lift, nor do you have to consider the tension of the string, nor do you have to consider the weight of Q and the weight of the lift. We're only looking at the forces acting alone on P. And this reaction force here has all those other things kind of factored into it. If those change, that would also change. So what we're going to do is we're going to resolve the forces for this taking upwards positive as it's accelerating upwards. So we have the forces, the resultant force, which is 14 mg over 5 minus the mass we're looking for, which is mp times g, um, the, is equal to the, the mass times acceleration. So that's going to be mp times 2g over 5. And what we have to find is mp. Okay, so again, what we can do is we can get rid of the, the g's. They cancel out. We can multiply everything by 5. That gives you 14 m minus m minus 5 mp sorry and it's 5 mp is equal to and you multiply by 5 that cancels out so you then end up with 10 mp okay because that's two times um sorry the five cancel out what am i talking about you multiply by five if you multiply by five then the 5 will cancel, you're left with 2 MP, sorry, 2 MP. Okay, so we've got to find MP. Now we can see that 14 M is equal to 2 times the mass of particle P plus 5 times the mass of particle P, 2 times that, plus 5 times that, 7 times that. So 14 M is equal to 7 times the mass of P. Therefore, the mass of P is equal to 14 M over 7, which is 2 M. Okay, so there's the answer for part B. Very, very simple. Okay, so here the easiest thing for us to do was to look at the force exerted on P alone because we want to find the, 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 the mass of box P. So think about its weight, the reaction force of Q on P, which they told us, you know, the acceleration, we can easily find, okay, what the mass of P is, right? So that, that concludes question number seven um, from this January 2023 M1 paper. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions from this topic of connected particles can be found in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and watch the video that will appear here to help you, um, help you with your revision and how to use my channel, how to find things quickly that you might need for my channel that might help you. Thank you for watching and see you soon.